Hello guys, Garcia here. Welcome back to the final nights. So let's continue guys. So we got the final quest that we needed to get here from the PC. So we can finally go to the hospital. But first of all, definitely I need to feed here. Situation is pretty dire. Oh man, I'm taking a lot of damage now because of the blood timer. Luckily we have the... We are using a salubri here. So that probably helps us with the regeneration here. To be honest, uh... In my test playthrough, I actually didn't didn't notice like that much of a difference. It is definitely faster, but it's not like ridiculously fast, you know. All right, so mm, they are not distributed well here. Oh, there's a guy here too. Yeah, but definitely not gonna work. And remember, guys, that always every time we feed here, we are going to lose at least one blood point, right? The initial one. Great. Oh, that was close. Okay, so we got a violation, but not a masquerade violation, so that's okay. Alright, this guy's going to follow us for a while, so let's just go... Maybe I should go to the sewers, I don't know. Alright, so what is the next quest we're going to do here, actually? Probably the hostel one. I could go do the, the bounty hunter too. Um, I was like, whoa, there's a quest missing. Now that I remembered, I actually cured Mercurio, so we don't need the, the Morphe. Oh, there's a guy here. Perfect. Alright, let's go. Probably I'll get another criminal violation here. If I had to guess. We don't need that much blood because we are going to get the blood from Malcolm, the doctor, so it's fine. Oh, there you go. So the inspection is already giving us some extra items here. So I'm pretty sure in the, the base game there's no items here. So that's the first new one. Okay, so let's go to the hospital. So we just need the blood and... Uh, to find Lily. We don't need anything else. There's no drug quest for Trip, I think. Okay. Alright. I'm pretty sure, I, I think I can actually heal uh, Heather with the power of the Salubri too. But maybe I need more OBA, you know, I'm not sure. Please, wait your... Uh, I'm just bringing my friend who's being treated here. All right, go on. The items, sure. Hey. Uh, what's wrong? Hold on. Okay. Hey, Malcolm. I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside... See here now, I'm the only... Okay. I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. Bullet in his head. Okay. Uh, uh, Let me see if I can heal her. I will not enslave you with my blood, but I will heal your vitality. Oh, I see. So I can choose to actually heal her, but not get her as a goal? Uh, nope. I will probably get the humanity from this, but having her as a goal is actually useful because I can feed on her later. Good old Heather. All right. You. Uh, nothing. Okay. Save the girl. <laughs> just passing. Okay. I just need some rest. All right, so we did this. Okay. No. All right. Let's check for items. Maybe if I should, if I use like all specs here, I would see items way better, because I would get a point in uh, inspection, right? Problem is I don't want to waste my point in, in all specs like right now because I might need them for other stuff this early. So you know what? I'm not going to do that for now. All right. So administration. So I'm not seeing anything. So online banking. So let's see how much I need for this one. I'm not going to do this every time. Just show you guys. That sometimes the value can be values can be pretty high. I don't think this one is. Oh, <laughs> this one is actually ten. That's insane. But also is the the bank account of like the entire hospital. It seems. So that does make sense that it would be expensive. Dodgers, different password. So blood sample. Sure. Uh, blood test. Sure. Where is it? Sure. Thin eyes. Sure. 
Malcolm's Dirty Little Secrets. Sure, you know that one. Alright. So unfortunately I'm going to have to use Blood Buff here, I think. I have Burglary 3. I think this door is 4. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> I was hoping for something easier. Nope. I need to do what I need to do here really fast. Oh, I cannot see the bottles because of my inspection. Maybe if I use all specs here, I would see it. Let's actually save and try. Let's see. Back to three. Yeah, so no. Obviously, the reason why I saved here is that we cannot afford to lose this extra blood point here. So another online banking, but I know this one... Right now, we cannot do any of the online banking uh, things for the PCs here. Not a single one. So I'm not going to waste time trying. Just going to try a little bit just to show you guys. Okay. Sure. So if I do the page thing with the doctor here, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose a humanity point. But hey. I told you. I Get out of here. Um, Are you trying to... Wait now. <laughs> 25 bucks. But I'm in the middle of something. Damn it. I'm pretty sure if I have like high a high like barter skill, higher. Or maybe even persuasion or something like that. Or maybe like coercion would be better here. I could probably get way more from him. But obviously I don't have any of these, so not a whole lot I can do about it. Oh he has way less blood in this version. Damn it. Alright, hopefully this is going to be enough, because I cannot feed on anybody else here. Alright, so I already checked all the rooms, so let's go up. This one I'm pretty sure I can open without blood buff. There you go. Now the question is, will I need to kill the guard? Huh. I don't have any disciplines based on charisma, or like, not charisma, <laughs> on socials. So probably I'll need to either convince this guy, or just straight up kill him. And obviously I'm going to lose humanity here, but on the bright side I can get some extra blood. This area is for hospital staff only. I see. Uh, I won't be long. I just need to look around for something. You can't be up here. You're. Uh, okay. There you go. Just let him turn around. Bam. <sighs> So yeah, I'm going to lose the humanity point, but you know what? This is a decent trade-off here, because I can get a blood. Oh, the weapon too, sure. So, uh, university, we already did this one. Okay, what else? I have the key, okay. I don't even think I need to open this one. But I'm going to have to open that other door anyway, so I might as well open everything. So. Open this one, quick, come on. This one. And this one. There you go, got it. Okay. Nothing here. I don't think I need to deal with the cameras, so we're fine. This one should be open. Yeah, we have the guard key. Alright, so we need to open this one. I already did this. We open this. Probably going to get Malcolm's key here. We don't need it. Okay, so CIS. So, uh, the door is already open, so we just need the cabinet, right? Oh, wait, I know this password. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we just read about it. Dirty little secret. Uh, unlock. There you go. Yeah, so we lost the humanity that we won. With, uh, we actually lost an extra point because we did the Malcolm thing too. We lost, <laughs> we traded one point of humanity for like 25 bucks. 
That's a cheap ass vampire right there. That's what we do in the shadows level shit. Okay, we're done. So now we need to find Lily. Oh, that's actually a problem. In my last playthrough, I actually did not have enough persuasion to convince the guy. I don't even remember what I did. Maybe I killed him. Not this guy, Vandal, the, the guy back there. Hey. You next up for the needle? Uh, you offering? Right down to business. Okay, how much? If you have. Need to get, uh, show me what you got. Let me do this first. Need of. Uh, need to go to the back Employee. room. Uh, it's okay. She did. Now, sir. All right, fine. Goodbye. All right. So I'm trying to save as much blood as possible here. Luckily, I'm exactly at the threshold that I need for the hospital for the most part, which is free. So the guy is here. So I hope I can convince the guy. This time around, I actually have more persuasion than I had the other time, the last time I did this quest, so it should be doable. I already explored every single one of the other freezers here, so there's no new items, as long as my low inspection can tell. I guess if we come back here with a bunch of inspection, maybe you can find some extra items, but who knows. We don't need to check here right now, this is for the next quest, no, not the next quest, the, the Alien Vampire quest. Okay, so, oh, let's go back. I need to talk to the guy. I forgot. Uh, he, here. Yeah. So here he is. So I know the password, but I'm trying to get it in game here. Who are you? If you don't have, uh, if you don't know, you shouldn't be asking. Oh. Uh, yes. I think you want the clinic. Oh, damn it. Oh, boy. Uh All right. Damn. Wait. So I did this wrongly. Let me do this again. Okay. Who are you? Oh. What do you think? Okay. okay there you go. Question, Phil. She's in the freezer. I can see nine. Sure. Oh, oh, I should feed him this guy. I don't know why I forgot to do. <laughs> forgot to do that. So that's really the, the only really bad thing about the Saludi is the, the feeding thing. Right now it doesn't matter that much, but man, during the, the longer quests is, is really a problem. Putting points in stamina is actually pretty useful because of that. Because it kind of balances out the, the blood timer a little bit. It gets less unfair for the Saludi here. Okay. Box throwing. Okay. Alright, so let's save here because this is one of the traditional crashing spots of this game. Hey, Lily. Hunger. Let me go. It's You're fine, lady. Hold still. Huh? 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 What the? You're not supposed to be here. Where am I? Oh, in this version, he she has the the dirty face. That's cool. The heat. Okay, calm down. What just happened? Uh, it's alright. Uh, who are you? My name is Lee. E. E. I tried to tell E. Go on. Rolf. He left me with so many. Should go see. E? Uh, no, quite the opposite. I'll go see him. You're welcome. Oh, about. T I promise. There you go. Oh yeah, we're going to lose another humanity point because of the next quest here. Damn it. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? Uh, what can I do to set this straight? Now that you let that one go, I have to go out and find. All right. Uh, where should I look? The bitch who owns me. And the asylum. Sure. There you go. Okay. So yeah, we are going to go to five already. <laughs> That's terrible. How many points? Actually, it costs only two to raise humanity here. But yeah, I don't think this is a wise way to spend the points, for sure. Well, I have 12. I could just put in Auspex. 
and be done with it for now. In the last playthrough that I did, I was I played the game with mostly four until basically Hollywood, and it was mostly fine. The main problem that I had was the oh I need to leave through here. The main problem that I had was really the the amount of bullets that I had, which were was not enough to do a whole lot. So I had to postpone a few quests. Okay, so let's drop the werewolf blood here, real quick. Oh yeah, we need to get them the money too. 25 bucks. Uh, where's the werewolf blood here? Here. Allegedly taken from a werewolf. Hey. So I just need to read the email and it should be fine. Oh, I got a redemption. Awesome. So, I don't think I needed one, but hey. Alright, so the next quest is going to be Gimbal. So let's go straight to the... I don't think I went to the, the parlor yet. Did I? Hmm. I don't think so. So the, that UNPC that I told you guys about, that one that's going to help us deal with masquerade violations. She actually, this is her base. But she's not going to be here right now, obviously. Only later. So with the low value inspection right now, we won't be able to see a whole lot here in terms of items, I don't think. The box. Let's see how much for this one. Five. That's actually not bad. I, I think I can open this one right now, but I, I'm not going to, to be honest. I don't, I don't have any reason. Because since I already did that test playthrough before, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need anything that is in here until at least downtown. And I don't want to spend my blood here right now, so I'm just going to skip it for now. Hello. My well, I... Okay. Well All right. So uh, I don't need to like write this down because, as I told you guys in the last episode, I have written down all the values and all the places in which we have boxes and PCs that have the online banking feature. So I will be able to trace them back later. All right. So can I defeat Gimbal here? In my first playthrough, I was able to, but let's see here. Yeah. I only have a good old baseball bat here. Nothing fancy. Uh, here. Okay. Buzz me in. Alright, so... Gimbal has a box too, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know if he has a... A online banking PC oh, yeah. uh -huh. Because differently from anti tribute here, he's not going to have a PC here. So he's only going to have the box. Okay. Let's check for items. Can open this? No. Uh, blood? Check. Nothing. All right. So I don't remember where the box is. I think it's in his room, if I'm not mistaken. The box for anti-tribute was here, right? Pretty sure. Wait, wait, wait. I'm doing this too fast. Let me check here. Um, okay. Damn, that room <laughs> reminds me of that quest for the gargoyle, anti-tribute. That was so annoying, the fact that I didn't find the note. Alright, so let me check the entire place first. Huh? Oh, hey, help! You gotta get me out of here, man! This guy's a freaking nut job. 
Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off. So, I'm going to use Auspex just because it gives me an extra damage here. No sense. I could use Blood Buff, but eh, I don't want to. Way too expensive right now. As you guys have seen so far, feeding is actually not an easy task here. There you go, that was rough as hell. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. All right. Yeah. You did? Oh, man. That's solid. What? Okay, can I open that door? Nope. Awesome. <laughs> this is the best item in the game. Oh, come on. Alright, so the box is here, actually. Alright, so let's see. This one. Eight. So, yeah. That's a Hollywood box, I would say. I was able to max out both uh, hacking and lock picking, but it took a long time and a lot of points, obviously. But I was also able to buy the books for both of them, so that helped. You basically have to choose what you are going to do. If you are going to go like without books and just like buy ammunition and stuff, if you are going to buy some books and buy some bullets and maybe some blood packs, or if you are going to do what I did, which is basically buy the books and whatever else that was left, I would use to buy a few bullets, just a few. I thought I saw something. Nope. Okay, so let's do, deliver the quest to Arthur real quick. I need to go to the beach too. Talk to E and Lily. Okay. Hmm. Nobody to feed on here. This side of the city is rough as hell. There's only bombs here. What's shaking? What? Man, well, hell, I got, well, yeah, no, but, great, great, well, well, he was, most, that's right, yeah, oh, uh, how much for the, the first all right, come, caller, you've got the first shot at death tonight, let's see, so, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Well, I should have gotten the, the Agent Vampire quest first, so I would come here. Well, I have to come back here anyway, so before I go to the apartment, I'm going to actually go to the asylum first to get the Age of Empire quest. Hmm, if I raise my inspection to 3, I can get the extra XP points from uh, Nox. Should I? I mean, maybe. If I put 1 in Perception and 1 in Inspection, uh, investigation, which is probably the last point I'm going to put on this. That is already pretty good, pretty solid. Inspection 4. And that is without aspects. The reason why I'm doing that is that obviously I cannot use disciplines inside the asylum. Elysium. So I have to have raw inspection here. Far as good is already probably enough to see a bunch of stuff in the world. First, I need to talk to the lady up there, and there goes my humanity. Sheesh, is this more so than you think? <laughs> I thought. Really? Hmm. There you go. I guess I'm going to <laughs> blood bank. Then. I'm so screwed. Five. Luckily, I have the bonus screen. against frenzy, so hey, man. that will help. Yeah, not my... Okay. Okay. Oh man, his... Bertram. Oh man. Oh man. It's. Oh. Man. Oh man. So something about your story is a little not off, Nox. Oh, what are you Look, Nox, tell the truth and I might help you. What? How did you know? Ah, uh, look. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Damn it. 
All right. Bertram knew you were coming. Knew you'd come by here. He planted me and told me what to say about. All right. Hmm. Ah. Hell. There you go. So driver's license. No. Right on. All right. I don't need more weapons. Okay. Let's talk to Jeanette here already. Oh, I just talked to the guy. I forgot. Sorry. I'm on the wagon. Looking for threes. Threes? What? Are you serious? <laughs> oh man. Just talk to the guy. Oh. She told me on the phone she fired you. Didn't she tell you? Or she didn't tell you? Oh. I can't see the ring. Awesome. Don't have enough. All right. While they're talking here, let me think. What? Where should, should I sp spend the points here? What I'm going to need? Oh, I'm going to need stealth for the the warehouse. Oh, I'm glad I remember that. That's actually very important. We're going to do the stealthy route for that quest. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. You Jezebel. Don't you call me that. Should I start calling a duck a pig again? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's good, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. I always wondered, how the hell does she, like, lock the bathroom door from the outside? <laughs> That's, I always wondered how the hell that happened. Maybe she used Celery, I don't know. She would have to be pretty fast to do that. Please, come in. Hello? Uh, Jeanette, she was no trouble? Nonsense. Uh, I liked her a lot. <laughs> Are you Therese? Therese Borman. Need you to call off a few. Tongues exit. Uh, let's chill here. Why do you hate him? He meddles in my... Uh, then you can put the word. Why would I do that? Oh, come on. That's unfortunate. Tongue in his coat. Hmm. Uh, sure, gladly. What do I have to do? Rumor is that a... Uh, I'll do it if you promise to call up the feud. Oh, I fully in. Okay. I can respect that. Before I forget, take this. Sure. If you'll excuse me, I've got... Alright. So, what happened to me in the last playthrough is that you can use the online banking for both uh, Jeanette and Therese here. But, obviously, for example, right now we have uh, Therese here, right? So we cannot check her PC here, but uh, Jeanette is inside, quote-unquote, so we can check this one. Then you can see online banking. So I was not able to do both online bankings for both the ladies here, because I didn't have enough hacking at the time. And as you can see, up here also Elysium, so that means that we need 7 hacking. I think it's 7 for both online bankings here. 7 ha hacking is a lot, it's a ton, it's like middle of Hollywood level hacking, you know, so really, unless you focus on it, it's one of those that is like very hard, the only way would be like to probably kill one of the ladies, so you could access the other, the other PC later because one of them would be dead, right? But that's probably not a good idea, to be honest, because you lose the extra XP from like joining the two ladies. Or <laughs> joining. <laughs> Bringing them together, I guess. That would be a better way to say that. Joining seems like the, the fusion dance from like Dragon Ball Z. But if you think about it, that's what ends up happening, really, at the end of the day. Okay, so let's talk to Vandal real quick here. Uh, yeah, for a second I got lost. I was like, where am I going? Sweet girl, you... Uh, yes. There you go. Done. So I probably should put this 8 points in dexterity to raise my illusion, which is uh, stealth, basically.
Reminds me of Darkest Dungeon. The good old narrator. Elusive. Invasive. Alright. So what else do I need to do here? Let's see. Ghost, Hunted Hunter... Oh yeah, I need to go up here. Forgot. So I think for me to get the next email from the, the other NPC here, the new one, I think I need to commit a masquerade violation. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's not what I need to do. This is what I need to do. The key. Oh yeah, I have inspection 4 now. Maybe I have a new item here? No, not yet. Maybe if I use all specs, but I'm not wasting blood here. I have to come back here later anyway. Hey, Mayor. It's Mike. Look, I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. No new items? Calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. There you go. Let's see if there's a new item here. Uh, can I open this? No. Alright. So I'm kind of speed running here because we just did this in the anti tribute mod too, so no reason to spend a whole lot of time here. And also this is the only hub in which the quests like are not like prohibitive. There's not like a single quest that I like can't do here. Obviously there's like some difficult ones. Oh yeah, I need to go to the morgue here real quick. Oh no, I don't. I need to actually go to Arthur first. Because I need the name of the guy. Not the name of the guy, I have the name of the guy. I need to check his name in the database. To be able to infer that the guy is in the morgue. Actually, I never tried to go, to go to the morgue without doing that. <laughs> Maybe the body is not going to show up, I guess. I like the music that they chose for Santa Monica. Hello, in downtown, they changed the music mm. from downtown, mm. which I didn't like. Mm. For a very simple reason, downtown mm. is the, my favorite music in the, in the entire game. My favorite soundtrack. Uh, sorry, wrong one. This is uh, Crumb, right? Crumb. Alright. So they changed the downtown music, so I was like, no, don't change the best one. But I guess they're going to change everything, might as well change it too. The Hollywood song is the song for the Warrens. So they changed that one too, but not by much. Kind of a, an adjacent song, you know what I mean? And Chinatown also, I think, they changed the music. I should remember here. Yeah, let's check the more here real quick. Now, the Asian Vampire is going to be like borderline impossible using melee skills. So I'll have to shoot the guy. And I don't even know if I have bullets here. I have 29 for the special and I have 10 for the Glock. I hope that's enough. It has to be because <laughs> I don't have another option. I don't have enough blood heal to be able to survive. Okay. Go Virgil. Can I open this with... I have four now because of the dexterity boost. Okay. I, I opened all of these in my, my other playthrough, so there's nothing there as far as my inspection could tell. Nothing here either. Okay. Let's go up here. Actually, this is, is this locked? Because I didn't do the Malcolm thing. I didn't like use this. The key is usually here somewhere. Malcolm's key. It's not here. 
So probably I don't have enough inspection for this. Or maybe it despawns after the quest, I don't know. I cannot feed on Malcolm again this early, so... Oh yeah, and later, I think, when you go to... Probably just a little bit later, after the quest, Malcolm uh, actually disappears. So you cannot use him as a blood doll. So what else do I need to do here? Uh, the Asian Vampire, sure. Get back to Arthur. What else? Oh yeah, I need to go to the beach. Let me let me go to the beach first before I forget it. I'm doing way too much stuff at, at the same time here. We already have five. Okay. I need to get all specs at least to three before we reach uh, downtown. Definitely. So usually, when you play any other version of this game. Oh, wait. Something? No. So usually when you play any other version of this game, getting your discipline like to the max or maxed out as early as possible is like the most viable strategy in terms of like making your playthrough easier. But in this one, you just need to like have it like to be like decently high to help you. But you cannot throw all the points at it, otherwise you maybe you, you won't be able to complete the quest or to uh, straight up survive. Hi. Hello? This life's been hard. Uh, here, you probably want your stuff back. There Thank you go. You. You're welcome. See you. Oh, finally I got some humanity back. Brought my lily back. Hey man, uh, you're welcome. Keep her Gonna safe. Uh, Jack comes out of the box. Okay. I already did the, the the other guy, right? The Daydream Believer, I think is the name of the quest. Alright, I have 665. I think I can buy a book. Let's see. I'm pretty sure the, the, the least expensive ones are 500. This is like the baseline price, so that means that if you have a higher barter skill, you can get a higher discount, obviously. That said, I cannot wait forever for like to have extra points to put in barter at all. So might as well get what we can right now if we can get something here. Sure, man. Yeah, take what you need. Man. There you go. Yeah, so it is 500. All right, so I can get the dodge book. I can get a firearms book. I can get. Stealth? Oh, that's the book we're going to get. And the computer book. Damn, I want all of these books. Literally all of them. Yeah, but I think right now I definitely need the stealth one. Because we're going to have to do this quest. I know that the, 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 the instinct that any player would have here would be to get... First, let me test to see if I can put a point in stealth and use the book here. Probably not. So if I put the point here... Uh, no. Okay. Good to know. So your instinct would be to buy firearms book here. The firearms book. Because obviously, you're going to have to fight the Asian Empire like right now. That said, in the grand scheme of things here, all specs is really your main damage dealing buffing skill, you know? It's not really either your firearm skill or your perception. And yeah, the main problem with not raising your firearm skill early is that because this mod uses the old school way of like affecting the combat with your firearm skill, that means that we are going to have a lot of trouble actually shooting and hitting the target, which is what happens when you have low firearm skill, right? That said, for the most part, we're not going to do this right now. Not at the ocean house, nor in the warehouse, so... For right now, having higher stealth is going to be better. And because we already have five, I don't need to worry about it for a long time now. Maybe only like in the museum in uh, downtown, maybe. All right, so where were we doing? What were we doing here? Oh yeah, the other side. Okay. 
So I'm going to talk to Arthur first, then I'm going to go to the Foxy Boxes thing. There's a box there too. It should. Some Foxy Boxes. I need to commit that violation here somewhere. But I need to commit in a place that I can actually run away from. So I'm going to probably commit it here and just enter here and wait for the cops to stop bothering me. Because I think I need to activate the, the quest for the new NPC. And the only way to do that is to actually commit a violation. Don't quote me on that. I don't I'm not sure if like that's it's like 100 percent necessary. There you go. Come on, that took forever. Alright, so I have a violation. Hey, where are the cops? Oh, they didn't show up. Man, that's not cool. <laughs> just, just because it was like a, a bum. Hello, the cops were like, whatever. Hope you've slipped into something hey there, Slick. Hey, Slick. If you're new to town, so what? Uh, he fled someplace downtown. All right, then. All right. See you around. Thank you. I will later. So we'll be back here later to get the box and the online banking thing. Not now. Okay. Man, the, the rewards are so low. I'm pretty sure if you raise your barter, you can get more rewards too, but... It's difficult. Just realized that I didn't test this in the other playthrough. That's why I'm going here. Alright, so I need to fight the Age of Empire. I was going to go to the, the Haven first to check if I got the email from the new NPC because of the violation. Maybe killing the Age of Empire here is going to give me a redemption. So yeah, let's go there first. All of, of... Oh, Jesus, a hunter. Jesus. That was scary as hell. Oh my god, my damage is atrocious. Yeah, whatever. See ya. The cops are definitely not going to help me here. Hopefully I can enter home here. Please. Thank you. Oh, my melee is terrible, but the baseball bat is atrocious too, doesn't help. Okay. I, I was going to say that everything that I'm saying is conjecture. I'm not sure if I actually need to do this to get the email from the lady here. But there you go, we, got, we have an email. There you go, you won't last long, unicorn. So, from Sylvia at the tattoo shop. The tattoo shop. So, didn't your sire tell you that... Everyone hates the salubri. <laughs> <You're, clears throat> Jesus. <clears throat> your kind have been hunted for centuries, and here you are breaking the masquerade on your first night out, as if the third eye wasn't enough. Let's talk at the tattoo parlor on the main street. So, Sylvia Black, there you go. So, we are gonna go there. So, the salubri have three eyes. I imagine one on top of the. Uh, on, uh, his forehead here. Obviously, you, you can't put that on the model, but because of the appearance uh, reduction or penalty Wait, that you suffer. Right oh, I forgot about the damn hunter. Let me go. And if you're thinking, man, just feed him her. Not gonna work. <laughs> the other really low, that's this is good for. I know that I need to go to the parlor, but I'm, I'm going to fight the, the Asian guy first. Probably a better idea. Man, this lady is so tenacious. My god, he's still here. Ooh, my god. How the hell am I going to deal with this lady with this <laughs> beyond weak baseball bat? Burglarizing? Nine? Okay. Uh, this one doesn't have the online banking thing. Your instinct also is always to look for books, but there's no books in this version. I mean, like, laying around. 
Okay, so how do I do this? Let me think. I'll probably have to use the Glock here. Problem is I'm going to miss so many shots that I might as well use the special. And I'll have to use Auspex, there's no way to do this other way. Man, I wish I had. I just had a knife. It would be so much better. The knife is a way better weapon to use. Oh, the damage is actually good. Right, let's keep running. Oh, got stuck. Damn it. Where is he going? Oh. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Ooh, okay, you did it. Oh, really? You didn't drop anything? You gotta be kidding. No way. Oh, man, come on. Well, since I have Auspex up, you know what? I'm going to check for items up here. Uh, where do I climb here? Where does, are the small boxes? Here. Here. Alright. Whoa, that's pure skill, bro. Jesus Christ. Final nights indeed, but only for me. With personal health. Alright. So up here, nothing. Right now I have inspection 5. Pretty decent. Um, yeah, I can't see anything. Uh, can't open. Damn, he didn't drop anything. I was not expecting to get like the Gunto here or something like that, but at least like some bullets, maybe. But he uses a crossbow too, so yeah. Crossbow doesn't help a whole lot. Alright, so the hunter is going to be outside here right away. I'll just have to run to the other side of the street. To deliver the quest. Alright, I defeated the Asian dude. Yo, dude. Yes. Right on, man. Sure. Bertram said. Okay. We did. So we have nine now? Hmm. What else do I need to raise before I do anything else here? I need an extra pointing computer, but I also can buy the book. So maybe I should wait with hacking here. If I put... Yeah, if I have 12, if I put like one extra point in Auspex here, I will get one point of intelligence every time I use Auspex, which means I will have effective 3 hacking, which means that putting a point in Auspex is the same as putting a point in intelligence or computer. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. The rest is actually fine for Santa Monica standards here. Especially the Persuasion. We are kind of in a decent spot here. Hey, stop right there! Alright, so let me think. So I need to go to the Tattoo Parlor. What else do I need? Uh, I already did this. So now only the Ocean House and the Parlor. So let's go back there first. Yeah, the only way to dodge this lady is either by killing her or going down the sewers here. I'm going to try to feed on her, but I don't think it's going to work. Come on, miss. Oh, it actually worked. Thank you. Okay. I'll take it. That's a lot of blood. Oh, she actually had the knife. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, man. The knife is weak, but the knife is so much better to use than the other ones. Meaning the two that I have, right? Uh, the parlor is dead. Okay. Stop right there, Kindred. 
You come any closer, and you're getting a face full of buckshot, understand? Hey, hey, chill. What the? Listen, I don't know you, but I do know not to trust any of you bloodthirsty sons of bitches. So just stay back! You sent me the email. <laughs> hey, you invited me here, so don't forget that. Yeah, and for good reason, too. You've been making a lot of noise around town, and I've been asked to talk to you about it. Oh, as by whom? I'm not ready to talk about that just yet. Maybe later. Stay with me on this, okay? All right, fine. I'm listening. You've been running around feeding in public, making a scene, and using your powers. And now you've gotten the attention of hunters. See the problem here? Yeah, yeah, I do. So what do I do about it? Well... I've got some low friends in high places, including the L.A. Police Department. I can make witnesses stop talking, help the cops lose evidence. See where I'm going with this? Hmm, the LAPD, huh? Mm. Let me think. I can't see where you might be helpful. You bring me some green, and I'll take the heat off your back. Sound good? Uh, sure. How much will you, will, will you charge me every time I violate the masquerade? My standard fee is 1,000 bucks. Jesus. But it depends on My how God. much crap I need to clean up. You tell me what you've done, and I'll give you the price. That's way too much. All right. Okay, we'll figure out the price later. Sounds good. I'll be here if you need me. Sure. All right. Bye. So let's see if I can talk with her about something else. Welcome back. Uh, may I ask you something? Sure. Go ahead. Hmm. Are you a normal human? How do you know all of this? <laughs> yes, I'm still human. For now, at least. I got wrapped up in all this vampire bullshit a few years ago after some bad stuff went down. You see, I used to hunt you guys. And almost lost my life for it, too. Go on. I used to work for a very hidden underground group called the Foo Syndicate. Oh. These weirdos had hunters like me capture vampires for experimentation. I believed all the crap they fed me and walked down a bad path. I bet it was the Mandarin? It wasn't until one of these kindred saved my life that I realized what I was doing. I quit the Foo Syndicate the next day and began helping my new companion. He's taught me a whole new way of thinking. Maybe she's a ghoul. Interesting. Now don't get me wrong. Most of you blood-sucking fiends deserve nothing but the stake. But I swore to my mentor that I would do what I could to help bring peace to the cursed. After all, I do owe him my life. Okay, good story. So may I ask you some other questions? Sure. Go ahead. Um, I'm curious to, to know... Uh, who sent you to talk to me? Honestly, I can't really talk too much about that, or I could be putting both of our lives in jeopardy. What I can say is that I work for a small group of powerful kindred who work to better the lives of others. Hmm, that's so hard to believe. <laughs> well, let's just say that this particular group isn't well-liked within the community, so they keep a low profile. From all the vampires I've met, they seem to be the least hellish. Oh, I see. And what about me? Am I hellish as well? Time will tell. Won't it, Kindred? <laughs> sure. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, I am not going to click on the first one here. It's not something that I would, I would ever ask. That said, I don't have any other options, so whatever. I don't have time for this. There you go. Sure. Alright. Welcome. Sure. Yeah, that's the only dialogues we're going to get here. Yeah, so we completed the quest. So already 11. Found that she could uh, be a useful ally for covering up any mistakes you make by breaking the masquerade. There you go. Alright. I think you can, we can speed run through the, the ocean house. Pretty sure. But I remember that there's like an extra quest for her. Hmm, where did I get this quest? 
factory, remember? Pretty sure. It's not an email. I don't think. Hmm. I think it was like a note. On the floor, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was like near the beach here. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong mod. Let me transition here first and go back. Or did I already do this quest in the first episode? I don't remember. Pretty sure there's a quest that like you find a note like just lying on the floor. This is a random paper, you know? Piece of paper. Here. Eh. Yeah, I don't know. Well, let's go to the ocean house. We already got everything we need. Actually, I need blood. Yeah, but we're gonna go to the sewers anyway, so it should be fine. So as far as I know, the ocean house is exactly the same. I should remember here if there's something different. I don't think so, so I'm going to just do it as quickly as possible. Because I was doing the test playthrough, I was like, I'm going to explore every inch of the house here. Or the hotel, actually. <laughs> to be able to... Check every single place. To avoid, like, not finding any uh, items that I could get there. Mm, can I get more of these guys? I cannot waste too much time here, because I'm going to lose blood by walking around here, too. Let's just go. So what's the name of that that lady? That Sylvia lady? She has uh, the same model as that NPC from the Clan Quest mod. That lady that has that... Probably my favorite quest of the entire mod. I, I think it's my favorite quest like ever added by a mod for this game. Forgot to get the key. I think her name is like Katayan. Kata something like that. I can remember. So she uses the same model, and I'm pretty sure it's like the same voice actor too, which is funny. Oh, one of the clans we didn't get, the Ishtari. Ishtari. So because I already explored everything here before, I'm not going to waste any time looking for items because I know there's no items. I mean, as far as I could find in the first time I did this. Okay. Run, forest. I cannot, can't open this yet. Let's go to the other side. Oh, red. Thank you. Do we have more? Oh, shoot, bro. Wrong side. Where am I? Oh, got lost for a second. Hotel Hell. Okay. So you guys know that this quest has a lot of rooms that you can explore, so... In my test playthrough, I was like, I'm going to explore every single room. And I did that using Auspex to be able to... Uh, inspect as much as possible. For like, extra items and stuff. And I don't remember finding anything, but also... It's not like I have a lot of inspection to begin with. Well, Yeah, the anti-tribute version of this quest is way more annoying in terms of like dangers that you can that you will face and so on. I already did this, so let's just go up the elevator. 
Oh, awesome. Should go to that side first. That reminds me that the last time I watched uh, The Shining was like, man, like 17, 18 years ago. Which is weird because I'm a, a huge horror movie fan. But I never forgot the movie in terms of like what I saw. Okay. I don't remember if I can get the fire axe here, to be honest. I don't think so. So let's hope I can dodge the stuff here. Alright, it worked out. Okay. Get out. I'm going. Toy car. Oh. Shiny, shiny ghost. So usually in some of the mods you can find the fire axe here. I think in the vanilla game you can find it on the, the elevator, right? If I'm not mistaken. So not here. I could use Auspex here. Yeah, I have a lot of blood, I think it's fine. Just should be able to see if I'm missing something. It's okay. Uh, here. So what do we got here? Murder-suicide. Two words YouTube don't doesn't like a whole lot. <laughs> All right. This is taking forever. <laughs> oh, damn. got stuck. That was dangerous. So every time I hear any like whispers like that or anything about ghosts really, I always think about 13 Ghosts, my favorite horror movie of all time. Probably my second favorite movie of all time, only behind the Lord of the Rings movie. And Suzumiya so Haruhi no Shoshitsu, which is my favorite animated movie. Every time I hear the whispering. They used a lot in that movie. So I don't need to explore a whole lot here because I know that there's nothing other than like the regular spots. So I'm just going to explore what I know here. I'm going to use a couple of auspex just to make this go quicker and be able to see better. Right, so we don't have anything here. Okay, so we don't have to do anything else on the side. Let's just go. Here, nothing. Uh, music box. Sure. Very funny, bro. All right. Oh, I was so close that I actually saw the the actual fog. That's cool because you can see the auras, right? So you can only see the starting aura of the ghost before the ghost start acting up and breaking stuff. It's actually really cool. Never used Auspex here before, if you can believe it. Not even once, this first time. <laughs> After all these years, living and learning. 
Where is the Nosferatu? I'm pretty used to seeing it by now because of the attack tribute. Mod. Speaking of, of Nosferatu, did you guys see the the new trailer for the new, new the new version? Like more than a hundred years later. More than a hundred. Almost a hundred. One of the two. So cool. So I'm going to use Auspex again because it gives me extra defense and just let's just book it here. Come on. Alright, we're not burning like in the anti tribute, so we should be fine. Okay. What else? Nothing new here. Lighthouse. Okay. So, as you can see, nothing is pretty standard. Nothing like really different here. This is kind of a, a theme with like final with final nights, especially from Hollywood and onwards, you know. Oh, that was bad. I almost died here. I had way too little health to do that. That was not a good idea. Oof. So as I was saying, it's kind of a theme with Final Nights. There's different NPCs in different portions and there's a different gameplay and so on. But a lot of the base quests are exactly the same as the vanilla version. With like some unofficial patch tweaks to them. So it's not like they are super unique. Oh Jesus. Come on, rats. Where are you? Oh, there's one. Oh, man. Alright, guys. So, uh, in the next episode, we're going to uh, be delivering the Ocean House items here to, to threes. Well, I'm also going to check my notes here to see if I can find a... I, I'm not sure exactly if I actually have an extra quest for Sylvia, the new NPC, or not. I'm trying to remember, but I, I actually can't, <laughs> for some reason, remember if there is one or not. So I'll check my notes, and if there is, in the next episode we're going to be doing it. So we continue the playthrough in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.